I'm going to show you guys how to integrate 1 over x squared times the square root of x squared minus 1. In fact, we have to do trick sub right here. And the choice is that I'm going to let x equal to secant theta. Because I know if I have x being secant theta, secant squared theta minus 1 is going to give us tangent squared theta. Okay? And also, I need to get the dx. So let's look at this right here and differentiate both sides. We can get dx, which is going to be the derivative of secant theta is secant theta times tangent theta d theta. And now we are ready to take this integral from the x world to the theta world. As we can see, this is going to be the integral on the top we have 1 over x squared becomes secant squared theta, right? So let's put this down, secant squared theta. And then we have the square root like this. Inside, we have x squared, and it's, again, secant squared theta, and then minus 1, right? And then don't forget to replace the dx with this right here as well. So let's multiply by secant theta tangent theta d theta, like that. And now, let's focus on this square root right here. Inside, we have secant squared theta minus 1. We know this is going to be tangent squared theta theta inside, okay? And of course, we still have to take the square root, but square root and the square, they cancel each other out, and we will just end up with tangent theta in the denominator right here. And of course, we will assume everything is positive, or everything will become positive. That's why we don't bother with the absolute value, okay? Just for integration purposes like this. And now we see we have this tangent theta in the denominator. We can cancel out with this tangent theta, right? And also, we have this secant theta. I can cancel this out with one of this secant squared theta, right? So let me cancel this out, and now it becomes just 1. And all in all, we will end up to have, this is the integral. On the top, we have 1. And on the bottom, we just have secant to the first power, theta, and then this is d theta, like that. And now, how can we integrate 1 over secant theta? This question can be easy, or it can be hard. The hard part is that you didn't see the easy part. Because, what's secant? Secant is 1 over cosine, right? And now we have 1 over secant. It's the same as regular cosine. This right here is just integrating cosine theta, d theta. And now we can just go ahead. Integral of cosine theta is going to be positive sine theta, okay? At the end, we are not done yet though, even though we did the integration, but we have to take this expression from the theta world back to the x world. To do so, we have to refer back to this again. So let me write this down right here. We know secant theta is equal to x, right? And let me just write this down as secant theta equals to x over 1. Because remember, in a right triangle, secant is the hypotenuse over the adjacent. So I'm going to draw a right triangle like this, and put a right angle here and the theta here. The x will be the hypotenuse, and then the adjacent will be 1, right? And this side is going to be x squared, and then minus 1 squared, which will have x squared minus 1. And then, of course, we still have to square root this. So this is a triangle we can look at, and use this triangle to figure out what's sine theta. Sine theta, from this picture, we know it's the opposite over hypotenuse. So we have this. This is going to be square root of x squared minus 1, and then over x. And we are done. Put plus c. This right here is it.